Hey guys, what's up? I thought today I would give you a quick walkthrough of a new laptop I purchased just a couple of weeks ago, tell you all the components and specs and stuff about it, and give you the walkthrough of installing some new RAM to it. You see here I've purchased two sticks of PNY RAM. It is four gigabytes at DDR2, three, 8500. Sorry, it's been a long time since I've done hardware stuff. But yeah, basically this is 1066 RAM because the laptop came with DDR 1333, DDR 10,600, something like that. And the processor does not support it. So basically I've got a higher latency RAM, a lower amount of RAM uh, with, uh, you know, that's not actually using the speed, the front side bus speed that would come with the, the RAM that it's got. So basically what we've got here, we've got the Dell Vostro 3400. This is a 14 inch screen laptop. As you can maybe see there, let's lean it back just a little bit. Yeah, 14 inch screen, it's a 1366 by 768 if I remember correctly. Uh, it's got the full keyboard as you would expect. It's not the 17 inch model so it doesn't have the um, number pad over on the side. Trackpad, as you would expect, media buttons across the top. Came with Windows 7 pre-installed. This did come with a Core i5-560M processor, which I don't believe you can get anymore from Dell. It also came with four gigabytes, like I said, of DDR3-1333 RAM, so 1333 megahertz, but the Core i5-560 does not support the DDR1333, so we're gonna be replacing that. In addition, it has a 500 gig hard drive, a built-in NVIDIA graphics card that within Linux does not work. We'll talk about that in another video though. Uh, and the processor itself does have integrated Intel HD graphics on it. Here on the side, we've got a VGA port, an eSATA USB combo port, an HDMI port, and two USB ports. The back, we've got nothing. The side, there's the ethernet USB port, DVD burner, SD MMC combo slot, and express card slot, which is a little bit more uncommon to see nowadays. And on the front, we've got the mic headphone jacks and the wireless on off switch. So let's go ahead and we'll flip it over. We'll open it up and we will go ahead and replace the RAM on camera. For that, I'm gonna need this screwdriver from my jeweler's kit. I've got a couple of these sets. They are very handy to have if you're working on laptops. You unscrew a couple of screws here. After removing those two screws, you take the plate itself and you pop it out. You'll probably hear a few popping noises. There we go. You have these little tabs all over the plate you have to make sure not to break off. I've done this several times now, so I'm definitely getting a little more familiar with doing that. Now looking at the inside of this, you'll see here we've got the hard drive. This is the 500 gig SATA hard drive. It's a 7200 RPM drive, which should help performance a little bit, but uh, I don't know, it's running decently so far, so I can't really complain. Here's the Broadcom wireless LAN card it came with, currently unhooked because Linux is not terribly friendly to Broadcom out of the box. So I replaced it with my Intel 4965BGN card that's currently running in G mode because my wireless router is a wireless G. Here are the two sticks of RAM. This is, like I said, DDR3-10600, which is a 1333 megahertz. What we're gonna do at this point though is we're gonna pop this RAM out. So we'll just go ahead and click sides of this a little bit. It pops up. There's one stick out. You can see here probably it says DIM1. It has a little bit of info on it. Under that sticker it does say two, two gigs. There we go. The second stick has been popped out and you can actually read a little bit on this one. If you can see that two gigabytes PC3 10600. So it's uh, 1333 megahertz. At this point, we pop the two sticks of PNY RAM into the motherboard. And basically that should be about it. We should now be able to put the bottom back onto the case. Just gotta pop it back into place in a couple of spots. There we go. That one spot doesn't wanna go back in usually, so I just have to give it a little coaxing. Uh, I'm not going to screw it in yet because if you've ever worked with hardware before, you know you don't screw anything together until you're certain that it's working. Otherwise, you're just going to have to unscrew it again. We'll go ahead and hit the power button and keep an eye on the screen. Let's see what happens. It says Dell. We'll go into the setup. It says we are running dual channel RAM at 1066 megahertz, 4 gigs per slot. So uh, looks like I did my job correctly. Uh, let me go ahead and escape out of this. 
we'll just let it boot up. It should go into Linux Mint though. Currently, like I said, running Linux Mint. Uh, system memory has changed. That's cool. Go ahead and F1 to retry boot. There we go. We're ready to boot into Linux Mint. This should be up in just a couple of seconds. And there you have it. We have Linux Mint up and running. I should be able to check the amount of system RAM by going into the system monitor. I keep a, a little icon down here so I can watch the system usage. Go to resources and it says system memory, 445 megs in use out of 7.6 gigabytes. So it does definitely have the correct amount of memory, or at least close enough. Because it has the built-in integrated graphics, I'm sure it is taking advantage of some of that for the integrated graphics. But that's about all for today. If you have any experience with, uh, with this sort of model of laptop running on Linux, let me know how it worked out for you. A topic I really didn't want to address in this video, but I thought I'd go ahead and bring it up. Like I said, this has an NVIDIA graphics card, but it's only using the Intel integrated from the, gra from the uh, built onto the CPU. If you have any experience in switching off the, uh, the integrated Intel, for some reason the BIOS doesn't support it, which means the system is not letting me do it. However, the performance has been stellar. Editing 1080p video on this has been very, very easy. Actually, almost easier than doing it on my desktop. But that's about all for today. Uh, you probably think the screen's getting a little dark there. It's uh, where it's on battery power. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hooray for having more RAM in the laptop now. And uh, that's all for today. I will see you next time.